Unisa Radio. The African Voice. It's all about you. Unisa Radio, the African Voice. It is all about you. In studio, we're joined by Callista Hadwick, and she's a marketing manager of Vitalip Egg Donation Agency. Now, she's joining us on the topic azospemia. Now, azospemia is one condition that can cause a male infertility, and with azospemia, a man produces no sperm or very little sperm in his ejaculation, giving him zero sperm count, and azospemia can result from problem with sperm production or sperm delivery. Now, Callista mm. is here to explain to us, what is azuspemia? <laughs> it sounds like some animal. Th- I don't know what it sounds like. <laughs> it's a very, very hectic term for it something is. that's quite simple. Um, okay. I think as you so nicely put it, it basically means that there's no motile or viable sperm okay. in a man's ejaculate. So there is still okay. liquid coming out, but it's not, but sperm. It's not sperm. So it's not going to cause a pregnancy right Shit, okay so this actually happens in about one to two percent of our population mm-hmm. we see a lot of it because we work in yes. fertility yes but it only affects about one to two percent of males okay oh, and then okay. as you were saying it can either be from the production or the delivery so we look at it as obstructed or non-obstructed right okay where the problems can occur and i think some of the the, the, the important ones to, to kind of know is that this can happen from an infection. Oh, okay. So them getting a sexually transmitted disease like gonorrhea, Ooh. that can cause an obstruction problem. And then the, the sperm won't be able to be delivered from the testicle to where it needs to go. Sure. Okay. So that's quite a common one that we see. Um, other than that, if we're looking at the production side of things, mm-hmm. um, the sperm actually becoming mature. I mean, as you know, there are stem cells mm-hmm. in the testicle, and that's where the sperm production then happens. Mm-hmm. Um, and it takes a number of days. Okay. And uh, in some of the patients, these sperm aren't actually mature. They have a maturation arrest. So they don't get to a point where they're viable sperm. Sure. Yes. That is so crazy. So, with, so basically... Men having unprotected sex, it's just, it's, 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 it's a major thing because if you can get gonorrhea, STIs Correct. and STDs, you can actually experience this. Correct. So that, so the liquid that's coming out, yes. I know it's like a slimy liquid that yes. comes out, yes. sort of like sperms. Yes. So now, does it come out as white as sperms or is it light in color or is it? Yeah, I mean, it can vary. It comes from multiple glands that are within that region. Okay. Um, so the sperm itself is the only thing that's coming straight out of the testicle and out of the production area. Mm -hmm. And then along the journey that it travels through that tube Mm -hmm. um, to eventually have an ejaculate, there are multiple glands along the way that provide that liquid. Mm. So that's why men think that they're fine if they are having an ejaculate. I mean, sperm is too small. You can't see it with the naked eye. Mm. You'll never be able to look at your own sperm sample and say, oh, yes, this has sperm or it doesn't. Um, It's something you'd have to have analysed because it's so small. Mm. I mean, a, a crazy statistic. So if we look at what does the World Health Organization say is normal. Mm. So what's a normal sperm account, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, an average mm-hmm, sperm count? Mm-hmm. And that's basically there are 20 million per milliliter within an ejaculate. So you must think <laughs> how <laughs> tiny are the little oh sperms if there's that many in yeah. a milliliter. Typically yeah. two milliliters is the volume mm-hmm. um, on average. And then out of that, if we're analyzing it, about 30% of that 20 million mm-hmm. need to have a moving rapid forward movement, right? Mm -hmm. Because sperm's alive and it's got to be able to move, otherwise Mm -hmm. it's not functioning. Out of that, about 5% of those sperms will then have a normal shape. So they'll have a normal shaped head, they'll have a normal shaped tail, and that's the percentage that can help us achieve a pregnancy. So that's a normal sperm count. When we're looking at people with azospermia, Mm -hmm. we're not able to get any sperm out of a normal ejaculate. So what do we do? Mm -hmm. We do something called TESE, which is T-E-S-E, and it basically basically stands for testicular extraction of sperm. Okay. So what this means is, yes, we have to do an incision Mm -hmm. um, on the testicle to actually remove the sperm from where it's being produced in the testicle. We are then able to tease it, if you'd will, right, or mature it in a lab to then see if we can get any viable sperm out of that sperm sample. Hmm. And that way we can assist the patients to then still do Mm -hmm. and have reproductive technology treatment by us extracting the sperm at the source. Okay, so this all this happens when ejaculation happened. 
No. So this is okay. happening because there is nothing in the ejaculation. Okay. So we now need to go to the testicle and remove it where it's produced. Okay. So we're able to then mature it or get viable sperm in the lab. Mm. So without that, yes. is it possible for, for them to maybe like have medication so that, you know, those sperms can be, I don't know. Well, it depends. Look, if it's a blockage. So okay. if the problem's a blockage, meaning it's the delivery that's the problem here. Okay. We can look at things like how we do reversal vasectomies where we unblock that tube. But it's quite a it's quite a lengthy procedure okay. and it takes one to two years to heal afterwards to get back to normal production. Okay. So from our perspective, when we're looking at patients who want to fall pregnant mm-hmm. and they want to do that now, mm-hmm. it's much simpler to have a TC and allow us okay. to extract the sperm than to have surgery to try repair what is happening there. Mm. If this is in a young man who's maybe not wanting to fall pregnant right now mm-hmm. and is only thinking long term family, mm-hmm. then yes, let us do a surgery, let us try unblock the tube mm. or do the repair and give you a couple of years to get back to that level. Mm. And what causes the blockage? So the blockage is A, the infection. Okay. Um, otherwise, some men can be born with it. So it can be congenital, mm-hmm. meaning okay. that it has always been blocked. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, again, is something that we'd need to look at. Um, we'd have to do TC or look if we can unblock it. Mm. Is it possible for a, for a man to have a child and then experience a zoospermia. Yes. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay. For example, if he contracted gonorrhea. Oh. And now this is, okay. is something that's happening after that. If it's something that's more congenital, meaning something he was born with, mm-hmm. then no, he wouldn't have had been able to father a child right mm-hmm. at the beginning. Okay. He would have had this problem all along. Mm-hmm. And are, are there types of zoospermia or is just this one specific? Yeah. So azoospermia basically covers this all the problems related to not having sperm in your ejaculate. Mm -hmm. Then when we look into it, we have to diagnose what was the cause for us to understand how we need to treat you. Um, For example, there is something called um, Sotoli cell only syndrome, which is Mm -hmm. something that you can be born with. Um, And basically it means you don't have the little tubules in the testicle Mm -hmm. that creates the sperm. Mm -hmm. You only have the Sotoli cells um, that don't produce sperm. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is something. And what I think is quite encouraging is you you can always get varying degrees, right, okay. of these problems. Mm-hmm. They could be partial or they could be complete. If it's a partial form of this problem, TC and us extracting sperm will still work for you. Mm. But if it's a complete problem, meaning that there is no sperm being produced, mm. even after we do a TZ, mm. the only option for that guy, unfortunately, is sperm donation. He would have to look at getting a donor because he does not have sperm. Now, how do you... you know how men are with their yes, egos yes. how does one really you know come to terms with it and accept and say okay this is what's happening with me correct. and because it's like the men who has been taken away correct. from them yeah. correct i think this is probably one of the the hardest topics that if you speak to my doctors they'll tell you is really difficult for them to deliver mm. uh, men don't take this news very well yeah. and usually the way they are counseled will affect what their decision is mm. so if they are counseled well and explained that this is not something that has a reflection on their manhood, Mm -hmm. that unfortunately this is another disorder, like another disease, like being diagnosed with cancer. This is not something that they are in control of. Mm -hmm. And if their need for a child outweighs that ego, we need to look at sperm donation. Mm. And and I mean, with what you do, you can always manipulate this thing so the baby (laughs) can always come out looking like them. We can find a sperm donor that has very similar physical characteristics to mm, you mm. or if we're looking in the black culture that he came from the same heritage mm. is he Zulu is he Sutu mm. you know we can look into all of that to try get it as close for you as possible mm. so you wouldn't even need to tell your family literally oh, no. just you and your wife would need to mm. know and and that's where it would end mm. and how do you then deal with you know people that are you know conservative cultural you know yes. in, in all races you do find people that are so no yes. this can't happen yes. I mean I ejaculate exactly. there's liquid coming out of my testicles <laughs> Why are you saying that I'm infertile? You know, those yes, type of things. Yeah. Yes, we definitely see it. And we, and we see quite varied cases. Um, we, we've seen cases where they won't accept that it's a male issue because mm. everyone thinks it's always the woman. Yes, we and know that this. annoys uh, like the core of me. It's right. crazy, yeah. So then we get into the discussions of, oh, but what if I have a second wife mm. or a third wife? Mm. 
you know, wouldn't she fall pregnant? Mm-hmm. So it gets very difficult to explain that this is definitely a male reproductive mm-hmm. problem mm-hmm. and that no matter who his partner is, mm-hmm. we're going to sit with the same problem. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so definitely culture plays quite a big role in this. We're definitely seeing um, a, a slight shift. Mm-hmm. You know, people are starting to realize what's available out there, mm-hmm. what this means. They're starting to understand that there is all of this assistance for some reason. I mm-hmm. mean, infertility affects one one in six couples. Yeah. This is not something that doesn't happen daily. Mm. So I, I definitely think that we're going in the right direction mm-hmm. uh, and that eventually these kinds of cultural problems won't really be applicable. Yeah. But for now, there's definitely sc- discussions that happen around yes. it and, yes. and trying to sort of explain to someone what this means. What mm. is this sperm donation? What is the infertility? Getting mm. down t- so that they can understand how their reproductive system works mm. and what this means for them. Mm. Because like you said, most women get the beating and you find yes. that it's not even their problems. Correct. And another thing, it's very important for men to visit male, f- the male clinics yes. as much as it's important for women to you know, do the whole pap smear. Correct. And you know, it's it's just so hard and difficult to just get it through their head that it's not always a woman's problem. It's yes. not always my problem. Yes. Now, how what, what how would you advise you know all males in terms of getting knowledge and education on uh, azospermia? Sure. I mean, the best way for them to be certain is to get a sperm analysis done, okay. um, and they can have that done. Um, either as somewhere as simple as Lancet, mm-hmm. if they don't want to go to a fertility clinic, but obviously going to a fertility clinic or a urologist would be the, the best sort of idea mm. because we do much further in-depth looks mm. um, at the sperm analysis and we'd be able to tell you exactly what your potential is. Mm. Um, at the moment, semen analysis are in about the 2,000 rand mark. Okay. Um, and I mean, once you've had that, you at least know. You know where you're at. You know if there's any problems. Um, And another thing um, to actually discuss is Mm -hmm. people who go for for cancer um, treatment, so Mm -hmm. they go for chemotherapy, um, this can also cause the male to then have azospermia Mm -hmm. because the chemotherapy attacks the rapidly producing cells in the testicle, meaning that they no longer produce the viable Mm -hmm. mature sperm. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that men who are going for any type of cancer treatment Mm -hmm. get counseled and told to to freeze their sperm. Okay. You need to go to a fertility clinic. Um, it will take a, a couple of weeks at most, so it's mm-hmm. not going to be detrimental to your health. Mm-hmm. And freeze your sperm so that later in life when you want to have children, you have that frozen sperm mm-hmm. available. Mm-hmm. So this doesn't um, cause any harm with men that are diagnosed with diabetes? I mean, yes, we can sometimes see a link, okay. but um, it's... It's such a it's such a small number as we start okay. with that it's one to two percent of the population mm-hmm. um, that there's there's not really too much in the line okay. of other health factors mm-hmm. you know uh, because men constantly are producing yeah. these um, these sperms unlike women mm-hmm. who has their full storage of yeah. eggs lifestyle factors of all sorts could affect the production okay. and that would include things like diabetes or mm. excessive smoking or drinking or drugs mm. all of that I mean guys who take steroids for gym all of that affects the hormones that mm. are needed for you to produce the sperm mm. so we need to be very careful what we engage with what, what on what we take and how we live our life I mean lifestyle correct. is very important especially when coming to fertility correct yes, correct, it, correct it's really important so now if people want to find out more uh you know about your clinic and also about what you guys do i mean getting education about certain topics where can they get contact where can they contact you sure they can contact us through our website okay. uh which is vitalab.com mm-hmm. um and we are based in santon and we do definitely offer a semen analysis and storage of frozen sperm for any males that need to go through chemo treatment possibly mm-hmm. so we can assist them and point them in a in a right direction mm. um also, you know, this is for, for maybe couples who've experienced infertility mm-hmm. and they're not yet certain, is it a male factor, is it a female factor? They've been struggling for six months or mm. 12 months. Mm. They need to go have a checkup done. They don't Absolutely. need to waste time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so definitely they need to just research it a little bit Mm -hmm. and then they'll see the different options available. Oh, Callista, thank you so much for joining us. Such a pleasure as always. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And I've said the last time I saw her was like last year. I don't even know. 
That's really bad. It's very bad. <laughs> it's not even good. But thank you so much for joining us. We'll definitely yes. keep more contact. Brilliant. And enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. That was Calista Hadwick. She's a marketing manager of Vitalab Egg Donation Agency. And we're talking about aspermia. Jojo, you know, it, it sounds like a term, like a difficult term. <laughs> you say it and sounds like an, like an animal. animal. <laughs> you, you know, you know, you know, you know, there's... You are not you know why? Serious. You know why? Because I once watched a movie called Zootopia. So I'm like... Oh, yeah. Azuspe- yeah, that is familiar. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my God, it just sounds like an animal kingdom <laughs> of some sort. But then anyways, yes. So, great education. It is indeed. Um, I actually... I learned a few things. I learned a then lot I can things. be able, you know, to talk to my partner if exactly. ever you know, exactly we, we get to face a situation such a problem. Like this. Yes, and together with our listeners. So if ever you see anything wrong, guys, please don't blame the woman. It's not always the woman's yeah, it's fault. It's not always women. You guys, also need no. to get a check. You also <laughs> need to get a check, guys. So let's not play the blame game. Let's support each other through this whole phase of fertility. Well okay, said. because it's a very sensitive thing. I mm. mean, when you need a child or when you wanting to try for a kid and it doesn't happen, you come now pointing fingers. I mean, yeah. that's, that's really wrong. And we don't have to go for a next partner because you can't give me what absolutely, I want. Absolutely. absolutely. So, so we communication, can- it's a key. Yes, communication is very key. And Vitalab is always the answer. Yeah. This is Inisa Radio. <laughs> Radio, the African voice. It is all about you. Do stay connected with us. We're going to be having our news guys in studio. Then after that, we have some more health issues to talk about. This is Inisa Radio. And it is the African voice. And as I said, it is all about you. What's good, South Africa? This is Kojo from America. I'm Masa Chabandlovu. Hi, this is the People's Poet, Mzoa Kimbuli. Hello, what's up? How you doing? This is your girl, Tembi Siete. Yeah, this is Musile Taba. What's up, Fede Buffett? It's your boy, Tweezy, a.k.a. Fuego. You're listening to Unisa Radio. This is Unisa Radio. You're listening to Unisa Radio. You're tuned into Unisa Radio. Keep it locked to Unisa Radio because... This is the African voice. 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 It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It is all about you and you. It is all about you. It's all about you. I love you.